talking low key. Yeah. Talking low key. Yeah. So the drama continues. You got Cardi B versus the Shade Room. And the Shade Room's ex employee, uh, Kyle. Kyle Anthony, who now is the proud owner of the Neighborhood Talk. So here's what Tasha said, and I followed through. Hey, so listen, I need y'all to follow, go, come on Instagram. Go to my Instagram, Unwind with Tasha K. Unwind with Tasha K. I'm about to go live with Kyle, okay? On Instagram. We got some shit to talk about. Y'all saw what happened. Them in the shade room, been, follow, been, been fucking fighting all day. So I go on Tasha's page and find this clip between Cardi and Kyle. Cardi goes in and says, Kyle, watch when I catch your ass. Kyle says, you know what? At this point, I'm sick of this. You were mad for no reason. Cardi says, I'm sick of it too. Kyle says, one sec, hold up. I got the receipt. One sec, I got the receipt. Hold up. Cardi says, you constantly do interviews with my name on it. I don't say nothing. Kyle says, and do whatever with this as you please because I'm tired of you hating me for no reason. Cardi says, I told you to stop posting me on so that's where that stops. Now this is from uh, Tasha's page. Let's read Tasha's caption on this. Ka Tasha says, At Kyle Anthony, who runs the Neighborhood Talk 2, was threatened by Cardi B. I've known about this for a while and was really trying to be fair when it came to her because Kyle inspired me to. But sis won't let up. He did nothing wrong. All he did was post her sister's birthday gift and all hell broke loose. That's it. On Tuesday, I'm going to tell you why she's really pressed. Because Kyle don't bother nobody. Let the dragon commence. So at this point, I go from Tasha's page over to Kyle's page. And this is what I find on Kyle's page. It's another message uh, between Kyle and Angie. Angie is the owner of the Shade Room. Kyle goes in and um, he shares a clip of Cardi coming at him with Angie. And let's get into this real quick. So in the top clip, he shares with Angie, who is the president or the owner of the shade room, what Cardi has said to him. Cardi says, take that shit how you want to take it, baby. Stop with the bullshit. Because even when you got fired, Angie tried to claim it was all miscommunication because you were starting shit. And it was you that liked them fuck comments about me from the shade room. So stop with the fake shit. You be on it. Every bitch titty that slandered me then want to get on your live and talk about me like you innocent. Don't bother me. Don't post me like I do to you. Because like I said, I will find you. So then Kyle goes in to say to Angie, I'm sure you're not going to respond. But I don't know why you lied to this girl saying I like the comments when he scribbled out the name and I have all the messages with such and such talking about it so the angie responds kyle why are you harassing me i never told cardi that and she can't produce receipts kyle's caption under this post says at this point i'm done with this this whole, was a whole month ago like y'all what is cardi so mad at me for like at this point i feel like i need to clear my name i'm tired of sitting quiet and having people think i've done something that i didn't fucking do i didn't do this shit to this girl so i'm not even going to read all the back and forth stuff but here they are here are the clips of angie going back and forth with kyle um, and other people adding in their stuff too. So here y'all can get into this and um, In a couple minutes, we're actually a couple seconds. We actually going to get into the clip where Cardi actually comes back at Kyle She actually did a live stream yesterday in reference to him posting all this So let's get into that as soon as y'all get done reading all these Y'all might want to go ahead and screenshot stuff so that way you can actually see it
I'm really sick and tired of people acting fucking dumb. I'm really fucking sick and tired of people acting stupid. And I'm gonna address this one more time, and this is gonna be the last time. Because since people wanna do it, since people wanna do shit publicly, since people wanna be showing DMs and doing the most, I'm gonna motherfucking say this one time. If I don't fuck with you, if you don't fuck with me, and you know you don't fuck with me, stop playing, stop gaslighting on my fucking DMs. Like, what are you talking about? First of all, I had an issue with this blog, right? Matter of fact, y'all know that blog, The Shade Room. I used to tell them every single time I used to comment under they shit, like, yo, somebody's deleting my comment, and I once called people in The Shade Room liking shady shit about me, liking shady shit about me, right? And um, I confronted them about that, and they wanted to act like I was crazy. So, um... If 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 me if me and you have if me and you have a disagreement and we don't fuck with each other, just leave it at that. I don't understand why I don't fuck with people and I told them, yo, stop posting me, stop doing this. Why they be acting? I don't understand why you don't like me, why you don't this. But you'll be linking up with people I don't fuck with and you'll be talking about me and it's proven that you're talking about me because the person that you talk about me to is talking about oh. Oh, um, I've been knowing about these DMs months ago. Why? Because you guys be talking about me. And then y'all be trying to make me say certain names on the DMs and keep me going, keep me going on the DMs so you could go around and show it to your friends and everything. And it's like, I don't care if you post good or bad. If I tell you don't, just don't. Because I don't fuck with you. And then especially if you're going to post my family. I don't give a fuck if it's positive or not. I don't want that fake love. Your own consumers, your own people. People don't like me and they're asking you why you posted me so and then they want to claim oh you accused me of something that i wasn't and you never apologized i did tell the motherfucker my bad on on the dm i said and i was wrong for that and i told them i was wrong for that i maybe i should have said sorry but i but i admit that i was wrong on that and i told them on the dm so why are you going she never apologized for it no because i did it in private I did it in private. I told you in private I was wrong for that shit. But the thing is that y'all want this public shit because y'all want y'all y'all want me to talk about it. I'm motherfucking Cardi B. I'm talking about some dumb shit. People probably don't even know what I'm talking about, and I still got 35,000 viewers. And I'm not even really doing nothing. Now I'm trying to go to the DM where I personally told them that I was wrong for something that I did. But you know, the motherfucker blocked me, and that's my thing. Like, as I stop with the fake shit, I'm really tired of people gaslighting. And I'm really tired of people race baiting. Like, one thing that I don't... If you want a fucking apology from me because I accused you of something that I thought, even though I know I told you my bad on DM, you want it publicly? I'm sorry. My bad for that. But you need to admit the bullshit that you used to do when you was working for people. And you need to admit that you'll be popping shit about me with, with people that I don't fuck with, which they claim they self. I'm not even making it up. They said it themselves. So that's that. If I was wrong for something, I'm wrong for that. I'm a grown ass bitch. And when I talk to people, grown ass people, I talk to them like a grown ass person. However, some. All right. I think it's real petty in my, you know, in my view. Um, how Cardi actually has the time on her hands to sit there and watch the Shade Room like comments that are made about her. It's not like the Shade Room actually made the comments. They just kind of liked it. Uh, basically saying Cardi used them for a come up. Point blank. So, you know, that's just people saying what they say. And now this is what Cardi is blaming and saying that Kyle had did. So since then, uh, Kyle had been fired from the Shade Room. Um, and he had six, and that was like around October, November, 2018. Since then, uh, he had actually turned around and started up his own business. And that was, uh, the neighborhood talk LLC. You can find him on Instagram and, uh, all over the place, even on YouTube, but there's his certificate saying he got his LLC, um, and is good to go. So he's being successful, doing successful things. So let's get into this here. So, uh, Kyle, which is the neighborhood talk too, uh, he just comes at Cardi saying, "Stop sending me posts." Um, you know, I didn't never release DMs, but I'm tired of her telling uh, about what's going on my page. She doesn't do this. 
I'm sure she'll trash me again, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of people are saying that Cardi started coming after Kyle when he started to have a real good connection and even showed up on Queen Radio Show uh, with Nicki Minaj. Once he started showing how tight he was with Nicki Minaj, all of a sudden Cardi started lashing out at him. Now, as far as the Shade Room, Angie, they said at the end there, um, Kyle was always showing up on the reel. And the Shade Room was not exactly happy with that, but it was good um, publicity advertisement for the Shade Room. So now let's get into Tasha K's live with him. The blue do rag! Oh my god! You know what? I got a pink one. Nice. I got a pink one. And then my eyes look all red. Girl, look, look at me! I look like shit! Okay? You look great. Don't Kyle look great? No. But Kyle, you tri you tripping today. I know. You done shut the internet down. I know. That's why I done got off Instagram. Hey, Akbar. What? Oh, Akbar in here? I love her. Mm -hmm. I gotta do a video with Akbar. I want a whole skit with her. She need to be a comedian. Somebody said they saw somebody's live and it was extra pressed about me, but I'm not gonna say that name. Wait, who, who are you talking about? Libra saying? I was talking about Cardi being, when she loaded up that live today, going off on you. Okay. I guess for linking with me, thinking that we like plotting against her. Yeah, that's, it, that's, the crazy thing is, because I know this is probably going to get chopped and screwed somewhere. And, and then that's okay, because Tuesday, because Tuesday, you're going to come on the platform and we're really going to explain it all. Right, because I think people are just under the impression that, you know, just because I know, like Tasha, that I don't, I don't know what people think that we just sit up here and like connive and stuff. Like, like Tasha lives in a so I live so in nice. We we literally discuss work. She helps me out with YouTube, gives me tips, and then that's basically it. Like I don't, I didn't know it was a crime to know somebody. I did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like high school shit. Just because like they think like, oh, she's linking up with me, or you know, we're linking up with each other just because you don't like her. Like I don't need to link up with nobody. If I don't like you, I don't motherfucking like you. You understand? Yeah. And I just feel like, like, it just gets real, um, catty, you know, because it's just like, at the end of the day, like, we're, we're we talk about news. So I just feel like it be, it's like, all the little constant back and forth, like, that's the, it's just like, it needs to stop. And like you said, it has been going on for some time now. A long time. It's like, I don't, I don't say anything about it. Like, I've been real quiet about it. But like, you know... You never know with people. Like I don't know what people had this at, and you, you see me, and you ask me or something like. Now that I do, we're gonna save that that part for Tuesday though, because I don't want to give away everything. Yeah. But they thought that I didn't have your back, because I look when I was post. God, and that's what I said. I said, God. <laughs> what? What they mean? Because they said, "Oh, how you posted Angie." And you posted. But at the what? end of the day, I mean, me and Tasha, like, I mean, it's you still have a job to do on your own. And it's just like, you know, you just got both sides to it. Because, you know, I even told Tasha, I said, look, if you want to mediate it, you can mediate it. Like, I'm that, like, I don't have a problem for getting to a resolution when that in that particular situation. You are a peacemaker when it comes to that. You are. And that's what I told Angie when she jumped in my B DM. I said, black, black, black media does not need to be fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that situation is a little sensitive, you know, because people act like they don't remember certain things. But like I said, I, I, I will never forget. I know how stuff went down in the timeline, but it's okay. You know, it's a lesson learned. I know what I did, so it's it's cool. Tuesday. Look, listen, I, I literally wanted to get on here and let everybody know that Tuesday you're going you to we're gonna get into what they say. No, I'm going to screenshot this and send it to you after so I can see who in particular this person is talking about with me and you. Cause, like, I, I feel like it might have been you, but the way that they 
the way I see it, it could be me. But it's somebody that always talks about shit. But that's what we're going to leave it at that, though. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Yeah. That yeah. That's so... It- yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think that he like I'm starting to think that you know that person is really not gay. I think he really wants to eat my pussy. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I just see the comment from Libra underscore Sun Goddess. I don't know who. That's my girl right know. here. That's my girl. Yeah, I don't know if they talking about me or you, but you know, I be in my own. I don't be on YouTube. I be minding my business. That 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 situation there is un- irrelevant. But like, we got a lot of stuff that we have to unwind on Tuesday because like y'all shut the damn gram down. Angie and all all her ex employees. Where was them? Where was Timby or whatever her name is? Timby, where was she at? <laughs> when all this was going down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she was reporting live from the red carpet. I'm on the red carpet. No, they was, they, was they was probably reporting live in the comments. They was, I'm sure they was reading them too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably wasn't saying anything because I seen somebody got tagged in one. So I know they, I know they got the mention. But so how, so how open are you going to be on Tuesday when it comes to this? Because I mean, you got dragged by her. Like she. Oh, no, we gonna, gonna let it all out? Yeah, because I don't think I've seen it all. Because, like, every time I go back in the comments, I see little, I see, like, more stuff that, you know, was responded to. But, you know, yeah, because I feel like, you know, in regards to, like, that NDA, it was very hard to... How I, am I saying something when I got a rapper over here on this magnitude coming at me saying I'm doing all this stuff and then you got... The fans that come and attack me, but I know in my mind, I'm not the one that did anything. So I'm sitting over there being quiet months and months and months and months. So every time I post you, you about to attack me for something you think I did, but I didn't. And never and apologize. So I have to let it be known. And never happened. apologize for it because that's so Beyonce has revealed his face. Yeah, and that, and to be honest. That little little rumor kickstarted a whole lot of other, you know, stuff that came with it, you know. So mm-hmm. that brought a lot of like negative energy and drama to the whole little situation. You know, that wasn't the reason why I got, you know, let go. But as far as like the bullying, which we can get into, I don't bully people. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a bully. Somebody. You are I'm not a bully. bully. What, what I mean, what I'm gonna do to. How I'm a bully, and then in the message it said I didn't. I, I was not at work. How was I bullying somebody if I'm not at work? Like if I, if I'm. Not- I, I think all of this, and, and it's really important, like that we talk to you on Tuesday because on the channel on Unwind with Tasha K, um, I think it's going to be. We got to work out the time. I'll announce it. Just you know, get on the channel. But um, and please follow the neighborhood talk on YouTube and on oh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Please, um, he'll, he'll, he'll put it out there too. So just look for his notification. But um, I think it's, it's, it's important like that we, like you are like a key piece of this because Cardi and this, this attack against black blogs started with the shade room. And, the and then is, it the trickled down. It used, to, it, it used to really report, like if you go back and do yeah. stuff up, there's been publications that have written articles like, oh, um, Blah, 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 blah. It's going off on blah, blah, blah. But at what point in time, they were the only ones that was posted. There is articles about that. Because when this first started, I had posted them, but I had to take them down. But I mean, people people forget. Like, I mean, there was at one point in time when she liked that baby. So, I mean. I yeah, know. but I, I think it's, I think it all hell broke loose when everybody started posting on offset cheating. And the thing is, I don't even think I even posted that when I was that. You didn't post that, but the, the shade room as a whole, because I know everybody else has different things that they work on. And I and it's going to be nice for you to explain, like, the operation, you know. But I, I really think Angie, and, you know, when I do talk to her, uh, you know, again, if she, you know, uh, wants to take this further, I think her, as one of the biggest bloggers, like, you have to take a stance. What you set is what's going to be the tone 
for every other blog that's under you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now that she's allowed Cardi to set, to tell her, don't post me. And she said, okay, I'm not going to post you. Now she thinks, oh, okay, if I told the shade room, one of the biggest blogs, um, to not post me that everybody else should fall in line. And that's not the case. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, because it's not fair because behind the scenes, it looks like, like, you know, I'm being told, don't fucking post me. I'm going to beat you out. Right. That. And then I'm not saying anything, but then you got people on my page being like, oh, this is just a Nikki fan page because I don't ever post uh, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, oh, but it's not me, though. I don't, I try, but if I do it, I know it's going to come. It's like I tried today, and it's like, boom, you know, you, you, you get shot. Literally, it's crazy because when I seen it, I was like, Oh, you know, she bought someone for a car. Like, this is, you know, it was cute. I literally was like, oh, it was cute. cute. That was a nice gesture for her sister. I come out the store. Uh, I was in Rouse. I come out the store. Uh, one of my family members calling me talking about, uh, you might want to go look in your DMs because I think so and so's mad at you. I say, huh? Over a car? What? Then I go look and I see the mess and I'm like, Okay, like this got to stop. Like this gone on for way too long. Cause like at the end of the day, I understand like you might not like me this that forth, but at least have a conversation. Like, are, like are we going to just do this all the time, or are you ever going to be able to be like, okay, let's just agree to disagree and move on, but have a mutual. It's like it never can get to that level because. It's, I'm saying something, and I try to diffuse it, and then it'll come back as, no, I just don't like you. And it's like, well, damn, like, it's mm -hmm. like I'm never going well with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you don't like me, just don't like me. But stop finding, like, different reasons to not like me. You know, because every time I debunk a reason, another one comes to why you don't like me. So at least that's what it feels like. Yeah, I don't think it's right that because you know how I felt when you told me about the messages like a month or two ago, because I told everybody those messages are not new. Yeah, the the one that I posted on the page from when I hit up my old boss, like when that morning there when she was coming at me, oh, right. that was a month ago. So a month ago, I let it go. But I said this keeps happening. Like, I have to, like, say something because I feel like either me not saying nothing is making that's just making it seem like oh I, I got him or something like I can shut him up and it's just like that's not in my I've been trying to just be the bigger person and be like okay you know maybe as time goes on it'll it'll go by and if people keep bringing up when I went on this interview when I did that interview with Claudia Jordan on the Fox Soul thing but they asked me she asked me questions like oh like you know did I ever like you know do any um, you know, petty stuff like to to reason why I might think somebody might like me, and I said, I mean, there could be, you know, I did a little uh fight at mm -hmm. the New York City, whatever. I think you know, Nikki had came out and took a picture on a poll. All I did was post a picture on my page and say she's still here or something. That was it. But like, which I doubt she even saw because it was on my personal page, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, she wasn't really coming. No, but she sees everything. Well, I mean, look, as that, that's, all I, that's all I did. Like, as far as, like, anything else on the on, on any other pages, like, no, I, don't, I didn't do that. Because the thing is, I don't care that much about somebody's life like that when I was there. Like, I mm -hmm. have other stuff to do. Like, that's why every time when we would, when somebody said, oh, somebody online going off, we would all be in the office like, what? Because I don't like, what nobody think about that. Like, we ended up having conversations about other stuff. Like, mm -hmm. like, oh, uh, what are we eating for lunch? Like, you know, just regular stuff. Like, literally, is you post something, you move on. Like, literally, it's just like a, like a robot. Like, it's not like you're thinking, like, oh, like, da -da 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 -da. it's like, okay, got this in the DM. Oh, somebody sent this. Okay, let me get it out. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Like, and it's so, and it's multiple people. So it's just like, you don't know who's doing this one, this one, this one, and this one, unless it's like an article. So it could be six people on. But if you only see one person doing that same article, you're going to keep thinking, okay, it's just one person on. When it's just, some people just don't write articles. 
So, what are you saying? But <laughs> somebody say I stay with a bottle of water. I thought I was a drunk though. Y'all say I'm, I'm forever drunk. Mm-hmm. But mm. day, like I said, it's no hard feelings. Like, cause I think people think that I'm, you know, the hater, and then it just be some people that think I'm not bitter. And it's like I'm not bitter or anything. You like, are so successful now. Your business is taking off. You're about yeah. to build on YouTube. You know, like, why would you be bitter? Like, you, you're a career. You're on your own now. You're not working under nobody. Exactly. And it's just like, I, 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 I never, after that situation, I can never, ever work for somebody ever again. Because I'm telling you, it's just for the simple fact that for somebody to not know how hard somebody really works and, like, literally will be up after the shift still doing work and then uh-huh. the way that it happened it was like oh you don't you you don't know what the fuck i really done did like i really was doing shit where i was running to finals my finals in college literally running because i was so obsessed with this day it's like oh i'm about to really get this shit going and it's just like it was just a lesson learned never go never out oh, never Overwork yourself. Stay in the same room. Do the work. Get, work. get, get that other time. Five o'clock, check out. Because the extra work is not, from what I've seen, how it came, like, you know, the, in the sense you made me, it kind of was like, okay, well, everything I guess I thought I did. Well, well uh, I don't want you giving away too much, okay? Because I, I want to save the breakdown for Tuesday. But I did want to point out that Zell Swag is on the live. He said that Cardi shouldn't be a celebrity if she can't take it. She should not be. Well, I, I think she's she meant to be. Like, I really think she should have stayed on Love and Hip Hop. She would be able to get all that aggression out, fight all she wants. That's my thing. Like, I'm too old. I ain't with the, the violence. <laughs> like I, well, I can reason with my mouth and it's just like, I'm not used to dealing with people like, uh-huh. when I'm talking or, I, or if I'm trying to resolve an issue but you just don't want to resolve it and I'm not used to that like you know because like I told you before Akbar she can ask you after me that way y'all can really talk shit yeah she's a bad girl oh Akbar want to add on this yeah, but I would have to hang up. But our who she want to? Uh, she want to add with you, or she want to add with me? Which one? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, hey, I gotta feed my son. I'm gonna be breastfeeding my son on this live though. But we can get with the shit though, for real. Okay. Look, so, um, I'm going live with Tasha K on Tuesday, so I'm gonna let you uh, live her in Akbar, and then live me back in after Akbar. I think she gotta follow me or hit the request. So, she, oh no, she want to go I, live with you. No, she want to go live with you. No, who you want to go live with, Akbar? Kyle or or me? I think she want to go live with you. So she want to go live. With Akbar, who you want to go live with? It's with Tasha. Yeah, with Tasha. Okay, cool. All right, tell I'm a, I'm gonna end this. Uh, well, shit. Well, I'll just click you off and add her on. Okay. All right. All right. I'll see you Tuesday. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Shay. Um, is he hungry? Okay, he good. Cause I'm about to go live with somebody else real quick. Where's Akbar? I'm just waiting on her request. Hey, y'all. Y'all ready for this shit? Like, I mean, I don't really like seeing black media like this, but honestly, it's like I really wish we could have some sort of show or something. It'll probably be bigger than like these other reality shows. If you know what we go through behind the scenes. With these celebrities, my God, my God! I told you the process server know me by by name. <laughs> he just came me here. Yo, how you doing today? You good? Can I get a cup of coffee? You can. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> hey, Shay, can you take him in there real quick? <laughs> he is loud. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Edward. What's you up? Know, you know, I fuck with you. You are so funny. I, okay, listen. Let me explain, right? What's up? What's up? So, I do believe that this is how this shit works. You got to understand this. She came off the streets straight into stardom. True. She didn't have a chance for artist development. 
True. And now so they used to do that back in the day. Yeah. See, Nikki had artist development. You feel what True. I'm saying? And when you get people that just go straight into, you know what I'm saying? That shit, it fucks with their mind. It fucks with them because a lot of people don't be ready for what comes behind this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what made me realize that is when my homeboy told me, he said, you can't fight everybody. He okay. said, you can't, you can't be out here because you're going to get a lot of lawsuits. He said, if you really want this shit the way you say you want it, you can't be on that bullshit. And that way gave yeah. me a wake up call. Like, you know what? That's what Yeah, because you was with the shits at one time. You you would put a motherfucker in their place fast. Yeah, and you know what? At the same time, as I got to fight with old girl in that studio and I beat her the fuck up, I'm going to tell you some real shit. And I realized. It's not no there, no, 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 no. It is a thing. What the hell talking about? Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say okay. this. Real G shit. I feel like a lot of them pick on Kyle because he really ain't got no back end. Like nobody they they gonna ride with him. And that's why people pick on people. You get what I'm saying? I also mm -hmm. feel like, you know, Cardi B shouldn't even be worrying about what a blog posting about her because like Bitch, you famous. Bitch is trying to get where you at. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Mm -hmm. And on some real G shit. They gonna hit you where it hurt it. They gonna hit them pockets. And I'm a real bitch. And you know, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the fucking day, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Like, I'm still grinding. I'm still working my ass out. But I'm gonna say this. Like, she gotta stop. And I, and I went in her DM and I told her, I said, man, listen, you at a spot right now that a lot of people wish to be in. You can't let these people, you know what I'm saying? Because that ain't mm -hmm. nothing but the devil. And sooner or later, when your ass be getting hit with these one point some million dollar suits, five some million dollar suit, all that, your ass gonna think twice about, bitch, I should have never did this, I should have never did that. Because everybody ain't straight. A lot of folks play with the police. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I feel like the shade room, they came and they throw Kyle under the bus. They really do. And I've known this why. for a while. Because ain't nobody going to hate you like that if you ain't getting that to them or they somebody ain't told them shit. You get what I'm saying? Somebody mm -hmm. had to tell that girl, like, look, Kyle did this because I guess I'm, the nigga didn't post that but a nice ass motherfucker being strong. And saying she bought it from her sister. So it's some it's something else behind that shit. Maybe she thinks because like what you're what you're saying there, she probably thinks like, oh, because of what somebody may have told her, like maybe the owner of the shade room. So now anytime Kyle so look her, how long, listen, listen, look how look how much that how much that whole weight though. Look how much that whole weight. The owner of the shade room just told me this boy right here posted something. I'ma believe her too. This is the owner of the shade room. I know. One of the biggest it. blows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So he probably thinks that every and I told Kyle this. He probably thinks that everything that he's doing, he's just throwing shade. It's not yeah. you. And this but what I'm saying is she don't have these, if she don't have the same energy for these white blows, I have never seen Cardi go off of one of these white blows. Ever. The who only white, thing black be white behind the blows, Tasha. I'm talking about uh, TMZ. Uh, uh, who else does she fuck with? Uh, Vogue, all them, People Magazine. She don't go off on them. And they literally be writing up shit all the time on her. She don't say nothing. Do they write up negative shit? Yes! Well, you got a point if they write up negative shit. She literally made a whole fucking post. Oh, the reason people don't fuck with black blogs is because of this and that. If you didn't do fucked up shit, nobody would talk about you. There are certain celebrities that don't never get talked about simply because they don't do fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. You're right. If you if you sensationalize yourself, I'm sorry. People are going to talk about you. Cardi is next level, like Donald Trump, as far as the sensationalism. Okay, what that word means, so. <laughs> I fucking love you. And she amplifies every, everything is amplified. Everything is like exaggerated. Her personality, okay. like how Donald, like how Donald Trump is. 
Like everything that he said. He gonna rent. He gonna rent. He gonna rent. It's the same. It's the same method, and that method is is has gotten her to such a popular space. That's why she's number two in trending, and blogs help her to get there. Blogs help her to stay at that fifty five million. She thinks it's her talent. It's a lot of people out here talented, but her personality has a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Because she do got the she do got the personality, and I she got the personality. Like Yep. She got a good personality. She got a great personality. That's why she was popular. She had like maybe one or two million followers before she got started. When she hit Love and Hip Hop, it blew up. Then when she got started. I Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, that you you need to be on somebody motherfucking comedy stage. I like loving your pop because you know Mona didn't give me an opportunity. So you know at the end of the day, it's like what you make of that shit. You know, even though you want love and hip hop, you got to be grinding with your music behind it. And that's what a lot of people don't know. You know, that no, love and hip hop is just, okay, that's the television. But if right. you really want to make it in this industry, you have to be working your ass off double time. And which, you know, I knew a lot of people that was fucking with her, you know, before she, before she popped. And they said, that girl, that song, Bo That Ray, Bro, that Bro, that yellow, yeah, that's a hot they song. Said she yeah. was, they said she was moving that song. They said she was working that song. Yeah. And then that's when the lady was jumped behind. They said she was putting in work for that song. So at the end of the fucking day, you know, it takes it takes for your ass to work overtime to get this shit for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, because, you know, at the end of the fucking day, you know, I never, I'm not signed by a label. So I'm speaking. You don't on, need to be in these. You don't need to be these days. I'm you need to be the management company. I'm, I'm speaking on, you know, how this shit really works. You got to be putting dedication and a lot of shit in this shit. You feel what I'm saying? To even pop and do that shit. And, you, and that shit come with a team, a dedicated team also. You know right. what I mean? And I feel like right. if it wasn't for Nicki, it wouldn't be Cardi. Nicki Minaj <laughs> made a way for female rappers. It was like, and I hate that so many people disrespect Nikki. You know what I'm saying? I hate that. Sh I genuinely hate that shit because before there was a Cardi, everybody was fucking with Nikki. But, but you know what? They they need to they like it. Let me tell you something because a lot of people have so much negative to say about Nikki. Like, yeah, you know, interact with people. They be saying how her attitude fucked up and shit like that, which I never met Nikki personally. But I'm going to tell you something. This is hip hop. And I always say, you know what I'm saying? Nikki is top five, male or female. Right. There's a lot of male rappers that can't stand toe to toe with Nikki. You know what I mean? And they don't give her the credit that she deserves. And just because I'm a Nicki Minaj fan, that don't mean that I'm going to hate on Cardi B or right. uh, 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 bash Cardi B because I'm not like that. Yellow Kim paid the way. Yellow Kim. Uh, she did. Little Kim, let me say this. MC like Little Kim, Missy Elliott. Queen Latifah, Salt and Pepper, MC Yo -Yo. Light, yep, uh, MC Light, uh, I said MC, I, MC Light, E, okay. E, Charlie Baltimore, Vita, uh, Left Eye, so on and so on. Yeah, all right, they did pave the way. Okay, but what we are we gonna speak about the times that we was in a drop for female rappers and no fucking label wanted to sign female rappers? Foxy Brown. Are we gonna talk about how they didn't want to sign female rappers because they said it was too much? Then all of a sudden, this girl come out with Still I Rise and Itty Biggy Piggy and all of that, and her name is Nicki Minaj. But it was no female rappers. Kim had went to jail. Remember, he yep. started acting. Remy Ma was locked it, up. Eve went and got married. Eve married her big in that shit. She said, "Fuck rap." You get <laughs> what I'm saying? Oh yeah, trainer, trainer too. So. I'm not saying that they didn't pave the way. I'm saying it was a drought. Nobody. Remy Ma was in jail. Me. First of all, Remy Ma was in jail. I fuck with Remy Ma, then, but Remy Ma was in jail. Let me say this, and, and, and you know I fuck with Remy. Like Remy got bars, but I feel like Remy got. She got to. She got to learn how to make the music. Help the dance music. Thank and you. And calm down her bars. That's what. That's what Remy go wrong at. Is Remy talented? Hell, fuck yeah, she talented. But you got to understand that, you know, you got to know how to make a fucking song. That means you got to dumb shit down. You get it? Yeah. I'm a lyricist. I got bars. I rap for real. 
but I also know how to dumb, dumb shit down to make people be like, oh, yeah. And that's what you got to do until you get where you get that, that crowd that's going to support you no matter what. And that's what y'all fail to realize. Like, it was no fucking females that was rapping. When Nikki came Nothing. out, man, none. Nobody, and she, she literally worked. She worked her. And I would, if I respect anything about Nikki, I respect her grind and her patience. She turned down one of a big rec, a record deal before she got on with Young Money, just because they wanted her. They didn't want her to write. They wanted to write her lyrics for her. She said, "I'm sorry, I got a pass. No, thank you." I know Bo Legged Lou who was trying to get her signed and then passed her on to uh uh, uh Fendi and then. From there, it was like Young Money and Deb and all of them. So I know her path. And when I see so many people come at her and try to, like, disrespect her just because she is at the top, top five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, when I saw her and Cardi do that song, uh, uh, Motorsport, I said, yes, yes. Now we're getting back to this female unity. We hadn't seen nothing like that since later. Yeah, and that's what it, and, and, I, and I love that. But the first thing is, it's like, Cardi came in with that, you know, that attitude. And, and I don't even think it was Cardi. I felt like the fans played a part in it. Was it was a like, label, too. It was a yeah, label, yeah, Atlantic, because they, they were trying to fight. You got it was Atlantic. Like, they going to play parts to try to fight people against each other. And if you fall for that shit, then that's on you. But you got to pay homage to Nicki, man. That's just like you saying... That's just like you saying, okay, you ain't gonna pay homage to Big or, or fucking Pop. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to do this rap shit or Jay Z, you gotta pay homage to Nicki. That's for real. Like, yeah. I get, but they just look, they disrespected her so bad. They were so jealous of her. They wanted somebody to just knock her out of her spot because she owned it. Imagine you come Nicki Minaj coming into the rap game and nobody allowed any woman in the rap game. And now she's here. She has to maintain that shit. So she has an attitude. She rock, like she is a true businesswoman. I, she have not, I have not yet to hear any bitch that rap bars be on Nicki level. And that's just for real. Yeah. I and, that, that, and I've said that, and let me tell you something, Agra. I've said that, rapper, and they I grabbed rap. me so bad. I'm like, nobody, I have never seen nobody rap. When I, when I, heard, when I heard that track. They wanted to say about that girl, but none of these bitches can out-rap her. Because she's not going to be in the game. Yeah, she's not going to be in the game. 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 She's not going Cortez and Gene and all of them, you know what I'm saying? I'm working with them now. And um, Sean G and all of them. And they speak so highly of her and her pen. Them motherfuckers was just basically saying how she be right and shit. Like, she gonna go she do. right. And, you know, that's what I love about them. You know what I'm saying? Even though they departed from each other, you know, that bitch know. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, that's why Ted's fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't signed paperwork with them. And they already not invested over a hundred something in me. You see what I'm saying? And that shit, that's loyalty and love. And I'm loyal. You know what I mean? And I feel like I'm I'm a real bitch. I don't, I don't do, I don't do industry. I'm real. I speak facts and I speak on what I see, you know what I mean? They try to sabotage her and make her feel like she's angry, but I do feel like, you know what I'm saying, in this industry, you gotta be that certain type of person, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you want people to respect you and people feel like you're angry when you're not saying what they want you to say or something like that. Take Gabrielle Union for instance. They say she's an angry black woman because something happened. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I just don't see my black woman being angry and nothing happened. I don't see that. I don't no, I mean, out of all the people, not Gabrielle Union. I mean, she would listen. I mean, I Gabrielle Union, she's the type, like, she's, I mean, she's at, I ain't gonna say it's like a, not, it's like a nice, nasty, she'll tell you what she gotta and tell I'm you what I'm gonna say this, this is why Cardi goes off, and, and y'all gotta realize what's going on, this is a new age, it's a new age, and, 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 and you know, to her defense, she came from the street straight to TV, that's just like me, I'm gonna be honest, I came from the streets, on the block of Cleveland Avenue, just like the television. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, pardon me if I don't respond how bitches respond, you know what I'm saying, on a fucking daily. 
Like these bitches be calm when somebody be talking shit. Me, I'm gonna be like, man, I'm gonna slap the fuck out you. You know what I mean? I'm gonna slap the fuck out you. Who do this on the third? I don't believe in, you know what I'm saying, saying shit and not doing what I say I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. but you gotta look at it. If I get, if I get. If I get all these millions of dollars right now and I go put my hand on a civilian, on a person for what they said about me, guess what? I'm going to jail and I'm getting sued. You got to look at all the repercussions that come behind some shit. And that's why I, I mean, she, she, I mean, she fight, fighting bloggers and bitches over her nigga. I mean, she can't win or lose. And like I said, I ain't seen Offset yet at one of these court dates. I'm like, you out here putting your money on this person, putting your money on that person, this lawsuit, that lawsuit. And it just, it just seems like I mean, nobody has her back. Got. Mine, Jade and them, uh, she's being sued by a few people from like her, pet before she got on, like who was her, her management before uh, quality control. Um, I mean, she got, she at least eight. What's it do to you? Girl, I can't tell, I can't tell my own why, honey. I can't tell my own one. But the blast guy, I mean, that's all over the internet, girl. I ain't know. I ain't know. Yes. About. Yes, girl. That, that's all over the internet. This shit been going on for two years, honey. But mind you, she filed a lawsuit against me. First. So, you know, but like. I mean, she just, I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you don't want to be a celebrity, log off the internet, go live your life. Go get your Anita Baker on. Go get your, you know, there's plenty of artists that don't get no publicity. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she need to stay focused and she need to focus on what matters, the music, and don't let the bloggers upset her. Because once again, I know like I'm going to be way bigger than where I'm at and I know everything that y'all post about me is not going to be good. Y'all going to post about me, you know, post the tea. And I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. You know, I understand this is what I signed up for and my life is not a secret life when you're in the fame and you're in the limelight. You're not a public figure. And, and it goes for me, too. Like, I'm a blogger. I'm a public figure now. So when people make videos on me, it is what it is. I can't go cussing out everybody that make a video on me. You know yeah, what I'm but, saying? Yeah, but, you know, I'm really asking God to help me out with that. You know, he's been working <laughs> hey, on well, I think that's just your personality. No, no. You, it'd be funny when you be doing it. It's not even like, it doesn't even come across like it's malicious. It's funny as hell. Yeah, because, you know, I don't be trying to do... You know what? I'm going to tell you something about me. I got, like, another person that lives in my head. And I don't really be trying to bring him out because I know what type of shit he be on. He's a really thrown off motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So, to protect myself, I just leave him somewhere send the fuck down. You get it? Everybody got one. And, and, and everybody do. And on top of that, it's like... It's, I just want to win. Fuck all this drama shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like... And, and period, let me tell you, when, when Cardi first came on the scene, every, I was blogging positive about her. Her songs were doing well. I was excited when she uh, collaborated with Nicki Minaj. I thought that was wonderful. I mean, and just shit just went left. Like, I love to see, you know what I'm saying? Especially black women make, but I mean, she's not black. But at the same time, it's like, I love to see women make it because there wasn't a space for us anywhere where it didn't matter if you came from the streets it didn't matter if you really came from like a harvard education we have always had to work twice as hard to get the same thing that a man just got just because he was a man mm. so you don't but no that B and B data going back and forth like that you won't see it and if they do it's behind the scenes they will never make that shit public you can't so it but no, but I appreciate you um, jumping on the live. I don't really report on you because I just think you're funny. I don't take nothing that you say like serious, you know what I'm saying? Because you're just funny. Um, Thank you, Tasha. Thank you. Oh, anytime. And like I said, like you, I really believe wholeheartedly you are going to hit a comedy stage one day. I can feel it. Maybe a movie. Movies too. You're going to do it all. But I'm gonna get this music together first, honey. I'm just holding this fucking album right on these other clothes. So y'all pray for me, honey. Put the blood right. on me. Sprinkle a little blood on me. I can't well, I'm wait to hear Cash every time she get a chance. Cause I don't fuck with Cash, all bitch. That's the fuck why. 
Y'all always run y'all motherfucking mouth. I don't fuck with the bitch, okay? It ain't nothing you can motherfucking do about it, bitch. Do me. What you gonna do? How? I don't fuck with her. And I ain't gotta fuck with the bitch. Okay? What's, that nigga na- What's that nigga name in your head? What's that nigga name in your head? Uh, <laughs> bitch, I ain't gotta fuck with her. What the fuck you gonna do about it, punk with the ass hoe? Nothing. What? All right, okay. Tommy. And get your ass in bed, boy. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, who said something about cash doll on my positive live? That thing was going so powerful until somebody had to bring up cash doll. Who did it? Who did it? Because I'm going to cut your ass out. Who the fuck did it? We do we doing positive shit. We talking about the unity, and then all of a sudden shit go like, who the fuck did it? God damn, we can nothing can't go damn right. Nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me see who oh no. I love y'all. Listen, I'm gonna go on and get out. My baby hungry. He need to breastfeed. Please save this live, because I don't know what Instagram be doing with my lives. Every time I get off a live, this motherfucker f- fucking disappear, okay? So if you do uh, upload this live, send me the link and shit so I have it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to get on here once a week with these celebrities and let y'all see them raw like that. Where's Zell at? Where the fuck Zell at? Zell ain't on here? I'll get Zell tomorrow, okay? All right, y'all save it. I'm going to try to save it, okay? Bye. I'm going to agree. I don't know another female rapper who can lay them bars down like Cardi. So anyways, um, you know, that's what's going on with this drama between Cardi B, the Shade Room, and you're going to hear it today about Tasha K's Live with Kyle Anthony. Today, people are going to start talking about this. So, um... Yeah, guys, I don't know. I'll keep you updated. Congratulations to Kyle, though, for his success. He immediately started up and running and got his thing on the road, and he's not stopping. Till next video, guys. Talking about yeah. Talking about yeah. Talking about yeah.